What's up guys, Smash Beans here and welcome back to Trollcraft. We are back in our wonderful world. Last time we created the big green mean theme park, which I saw from everyone's videos they loved as the safest theme park in the world. But today we're going to start off with a little chest here, which we got with a book from Scott saying Trollcraft Zoo. Hello Trollcraft resident. That is I. Have you ever wanted a closer look at the creatures of Trollcraft? Not really, they're all quite ugly. Have you wished they didn't try to rip your face off when they seen you? When they have seen you, come on, Scott. Grammar, please. Uh, I guess so. Well, even if neither of these things apply to you, head on down to the ground opening of the new Trollcraft Zoo, full of the best of they best. Grammar again, Scott. Come on, spelling mistakes like this. If this was a proper zoo leaflet, I would not be interested. Situated just down the hill at the back of Scott's beautiful house beautiful being a opinion you will see the marvelous zoo entries only five coins what about five coins so head on down to the zoo and get a more up close and personal experience ps the zoo is not health or responsible for any injury or damage caused to you or your items while attending the zoo see you there well that doesn't sound safe especially not in comparison to my massive mean green theme park i guess i have five coins to spare which i'll take with me of course so here is scott's house where is this zoo at? I know it's kind of in this vicinity as I've seen it from the outside before, but never been inside it. Oh, here we go. This looks like it could be it. Okay, okay. Where's is this the entrance? Where do I leave my coins? Ah, just here. Okay, five coins. One, two, three, four, five. What's down here? Oh, there's another chest. Minecart. Wait, ooh. Can you adventure around the zoo? Let's have a look on the downstairs first. So here we have... Ooh. It's like ice and fire, I'm guessing this is? Hello. Okay, so we've got some weird looking mobs in here. I don't know what they are. Squa squeaker doodle. Squeaker doodle on the lava side. Nothing. There's nothing here. Hello? Anyone in? No, no one home. Okay. Ooh, I like that though. I like the fire and ice aspect of it. These street lamps are really cool. I didn't know these existed. They're super cool. What's over here then? we got like what looks like a big fat tree. And inside we have nothing again. Scott, your animals have gone missing. I hope to tell you this, but they seem to have disappeared. What about in this left cage? Oh, there's actually something in there. Oh, that's a Ventoraptor. I know that because I've had one myself. What are you doing in there, my friend? That better not be Vinny, because my Vinny, the Ventoraptor, disappeared after a while. Ooh, what's this one? Ooh, this is like a tiger. I can't really see what they're called, but it's, it's a tiger. It's a tiger thing. We'll call it a tiger. Here. Oh. <sighs> Ooh, you are very nice looking. Sparkle Muffin. I like your rainbow. He's a Yuva Raptor. Interesting. And over here, nothing once again. Scott, you really need to keep a leash on these animals. What the heck is this thing? Ooh, that is disgusting. Krusk? That is gross. Don't like that at all. And then here we have a couple of things. We have a... Ooh, that's nice. Peanut butter, a warg. A blue, a dark warg. Oh, they're quite, quite cute. I like those. Ugh, no. Chubacabras, I hate those. They're just disgusting. Oh, and the same with these flipping shades. They just... I had that multiplying incident. I hate them. What the heck is this? It's huge. I can't see what it is called, but it's huge and it's scary. So we'll call that J Jeff. Oh, gosh, these things as well. The Kakodum. They're just all horrible. Same with these things. Oh, it looks like the thing from Ghostbusters at the end. Pinky. That's what they're called. Ugh. Ugh, what are these things? Everything's just so disgusting and gross. What are you? Eyewig? Let's just leave. What about you? Oh, we got these things here. We got the bar geasts. That's what they're called. Not tiger things. Now the more you know. And that's the zoo. We'll take a minecart round quickly because why not? Off we go. Is there more animals up here? It's a very slow minecart, isn't it? Is it meant to be this slow? Is this like some sort of slow rail? What's going on? Quite nice for a nice little tour though. Although it is very slow and loud, so I'm going to get out of that now and just let that carry on. Oh no, I'm falling into one of the pens. Well, you need some safety railings on there, Scott. This is not safe. Luckily, I've got parkour skills, so I can... That's a cool zoo, but I wouldn't really uh, compare it to uh, the big mean green land because there is no comparison, let's be honest. Scott got a secret room there. Now, Scott's secret room there has given me an idea for a secret room myself. I've already got my secret bed basement underneath here, obviously, but... I feel like we can go deeper. And by deeper, I mean higher, because we are gonna build a secret basement up here somewhere, which is really tricky to get to, hopefully. Ow! Okay, so we're gonna hide this secret room up here in our tree, but first we need to clear some space to place it in here. 
and world edit is not working at the moment, so we have to do this all by hand, which makes me sad. Now, the good thing about all the mess and colours on my tree is that it's really hard to see what's what, so I can hide things pretty easily, and it's not noticeable on the map. So, we're not going to have a direct route to this place, we're going to go more secretive than that. We're going to hide a button somewhere, but that button is going to be very hard to get to. So hard to find that I might not even be able to find it sometimes. When you go at the back of my house, you have this whole area up here. And we want to hide it somewhere around here, but somewhere that's not easy to get to. But not so annoying that I can't be bothered to go to it. Now first, I'm going to have a secret door just here. How does Lizzie do it? Like, she has a carpenter's door, which is completely blocked off. Like, if you go over here, she has a door hid in the corner here, look. And it is completely covered. How does she do that? See, if I try to do that, this happens as a glass window. Can you change how these doors look? <gasps> what? I didn't know you could do this. Okay. You just need a carpenter's hammer. I see now. Interesting. Look at that. That's so well hidden. What the heck? That's that's awesome. Okay, so we got that now. And then we're going to hide the button down here, which you press and it doesn't work. Of course, it would. Why would it work? I hadn't set the command. That's probably why it didn't work. So you press it. There we go. And you get teleported up here. So fairly simple. All you have to do is go through here, up here, press. Oh, that one. Yep, found it. Then... Oh no, I've lost it. Down here? Was that right? Then round here. There it is. Okay, so yeah, press it. It's very straightforward. Anyone can remember that. <laughs> now, before we move on, I remembered that I found a new trophy, which I haven't placed in my trophy room yet. So here we go. Do you like that little sound effect there? We got our flower trophy, which adds to our lovely collection. It's actually the only nice one here, really, apart from the green cow, because they're all just hide hideous, really. But anyway, to our secret room, which we must keep secret. It's hard to get to, but I remember the way. There we go. What we're going to put in here is we're going to put in our emergency supplies in case things go wrong, maybe another war strikes out, something like that. So we're going to hide those in here. But first need to add a roof because we're very open. People from the sky, maybe on their flying chocobos, might be able to see in. So here's what I've been working on so far. We've got some armor stands. We've got some sword holders. We've got some crates which you can put stuff in. We've got some armor stands. We've got some iron frames. And we're going to place all our weapons in here just so no one else can steal them if a war does break out. Now at the moment, my weapons are very well protected in these chests down here. So we've got some smiler blasters. We have a limonite sword. And that's pretty much it, apart from the brown blaster. And some diamond armor, we'll take that up. Not gonna lie, at the moment we've got a bit of a mishmash of different items, but it's okay, we'll make it work. We also have a diamond sword, we can place that in the thing. But as weapon-wise, but as weapons go, we haven't really got much, have we? No, we don't, oh dear. Well, we're gonna have to work on that. We have some other stuff in the chest up here, actually. Let's just check. Mm, oh, st wind staff. That's uh, you can use that to uh, to hurt people. Bear blaster again. You can use that to uh, to hurt people. What is going on with that? Oh my gosh, it's waving. Why are the knives waving? Look, I'm doing it now. Look, <gasps> they're waving. Why are they waving? I think that's pretty much it for weapons. Front. We are very unprepared if a war does break out. We have some armor suits up there though, which we're going to move. But first, we need to head to our secret base. And it's been a few minutes, but I still remember where it is. Look at this. Here we go. Down here. B bam. There we go. So let's place... This is our first armor stand. Oh dear. Doesn't look very nice, but we'll place our sword in here. Diamond sword in there. We've got a jade... Oh. Jade sword in there. Wind staff doesn't go in there, but we can put it on the wall. Smile blaster on the wall. Put all our guns up here, you know how we do. Looking very fierce. Is that all we have? Wow, we have, we have really need some more stuff. We've got some more armor up here. We'll take that across now. Seeing as our current armor is getting a bit damaged, I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to wear this armor for now. Looks good. I like it. It's green. It blends in. So we're going to place those on there. Those, that armor set I was wearing looks really nice. The candy one. This one, however, on here looks a bit trash, really, doesn't it? Why do the legs look like they're not there? When they, does it make my legs invisible as well? Nope, it just looks like iron armor. Boring. But we'll, we'll place it on there anyway. So nice, got some armor. We could actually place... Oh, this sword doesn't fit in there. That's a shame. 
What else have we got that's damaging? A bow. We can place that on here. Boom. Another ranged weapon. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's literally all I have to defend myself. I should, I should probably get some better stuff, really, shouldn't I? 